Hi guys. Okay, so I'm sending your questions. Let me think. Okay. Um. Like. Uh, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. I don't know. Uh oh. Okay. <clears throat> How am I mentally and emotionally? I'm pretty good. I thought quarantine would like take a toll on me, but I'm chilling, you know. Um, have I been staying busy? Well, I don't wake up until like one, and then I usually lay in bed for like 30 minutes and wake up. And then I go get my Dunkin' <laughs> and then I go get my Dunkin' and then I come back and I eat that and scroll through TikTok, social media, whatever. And then I usually work out and then for about 45 minutes or so and then my mom and I will usually go get dinner, I guess. And then after that I come home and chill watch tv or something with my mom or netflix whatever and then i'll go to the park and either like longboard or just watch the sunset and then i come home and then i watch something with my mom again and then kind of do whatever for the rest of the night mm. Let me start TikTok. Well, <laughs> um, I was in a car ride, and one of my friend, my friend had it, and I was just, she was just like, get it, like it's entertainment. So I did, and then I downloaded it, and then I kind of got addicted. I started, I got started make, I made one, and I was like, whoa, like that's fun, and then so ever since then, you know. The rest is history. Um, what's another question? Want to make a homo hype house with all my friends? Yes. Like, that's honestly, like, we've been planning that. Um, okay, the same question. <coughs> um, coming out of ice? Um, honestly, do it when you're ready. Like, nobody should pressure you into doing something that you're not ready to do. Um, also, I, when I, what I say to my supporters is, if you're, if your parents are supportive of the LGBTQ community, then do it whenever you're ready. But if they're not as supportive, like, when you bring the subject up, um, I would wait until you know you have somebody that you can fall back on in case you get kicked out or whatever, you know. Um, but yeah, it's up to you whenever you come out. Uh, coming out story? Um, <laughs> uh, freshman year. I was in my geometry class, and I was like, today's the day. It was the day after a national coming out day, and um, I was like, it's the day. So, at the, like, we were taking a test that day, and so I, like, <laughs> I text my mom, and I just sent her a paragraph. I was like, mom, like, I like girls. I think I'm gay. And I was like, it's a phase. And then I put my phone away, and I turned it off. And then after the test, <laughs> I turned my phone back on, and she was like, she was like, I love you so much, like, and this, does, this doesn't change anything, and then, yeah. And then whenever I got home, or whenever she got home from work that day, like, we just talked about it, and 
that was basically it. It wasn't that interesting. Um, why do I keep doing that? Okay. What are your most and least favorite things about having the platform that you do? My most favorite is being able to like spread a positive message using my platform and like being able to reach a whole bunch of people that I like wouldn't be able to reach if I didn't have it. Did I pass the test? Yes. <laughs> and then the my least favorite thing is the amount of hate, I guess, and like because social media is very toxic sometimes. Well, a lot of the times, but you just kind of have to realize that people are going to say mean things, but at the end of the day, like, you should know your self-worth, and that's basically it. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Mm, I don't know what that means. Um, do you miss school? Are you enjoying quarantine? Honestly, school is so stressful for me because, like, I'm a night owl, so I don't go to bed till late, and then usually during school I wake up at, like, 5.30. So, I like sleeping in. Uh, do you want to go to college or say what for? Mm, I'm, I'm definitely going to college. Um... I wanna, I wanna start out majoring in nursing and then minoring in psychology, cause like those two are like very interesting to me, and I have a, my family has a lot of history of like people that practice medicine or in the medical field, and then psychology, I just think it's interesting in English. I just think like how the human brain works and like how like we work is something cool to study um why am i not playing basketball in college um i quit because i want to be able to focus on school and i was just getting tired of it and i didn't want to have to put my mom into wasting money and time this experience would come out of becoming an influencer like I said, the people that I've met is ridiculous. Like, literally, like, some of my best friends, I wouldn't have met them if it wasn't for TikTok. Like, everybody had playlist, and I don't know. I just I just have so many connections to wonderful people that I've met. How did your dad handle you coming out? My dad is actually not in my life. How do you feel when people don't respect your privacy? As an influencer, um, people are going to try to invade your privacy a lot, <laughs> um, but you kind of have to realize that it's going to be a thing, like people are going to try to want to know your personal life, like, and um, I just think it's wrong, because like we're normal people, like we still want our own privacy, we're not asking for people to find out our whole life story or any like personal things about us you know and um so if you are one of those people that like do try to get inside of our information um please stop because speaking for everybody that's an influencer we don't like it <laughs> like we don't we don't want our privacy to be invaded <laughs> um how did you react when Madison Beer started TikToks? <laughs> I freaked out, dude. We're not even gonna talk about that. Journey to self love. Um, that's a good one. <sighs> I feel like my is on. Hold on. Journey to self love is so important, and um. It's the way to achieve personal happiness without others. And honestly, it does take a lot. Like for me, it took me probably over a year to like accept and love myself. And um, basically, I just realized that like people 
like, people are gonna come and go, like, you're gonna have bad days, bad months, whatever, but, like, at the end of the day, you're the only person that you need, um, you know how to make yourself happy, you know how to take care of yourself, and you just kind of have to do things that you love, not what everybody else loves, and you don't need to live up to everybody's expectations of what they want, like, Live up to your own expectations, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. No, my dad is not in my life because I came out. No. No. He left when I was young. But I ever quit TikTok for school? Um, what do you mean by that? What inspires me to do what I do, the amount of, the amount of people, quit, quit, the amount of people that say that they, like, look up to me and, like, what I do, I think is why I do what I do, I didn't expect to have, like, such a platform for myself and such a following and, like, when I realized that, like, I help people come out, and, like, I help them through their struggles, like, I don't know, that's just, I guess that's just what kept me going, because I realized that some people don't get to have, like, what I have, and they need advice, and, like, I don't know, I just, I like helping people, and I guess my platform is a way to do that, hold on. my voice this is upsetting what are you gonna do when you hit a million on tiktok well i think i have a little bit but i'm not really sure yet y'all can give me ideas though maintaining happiness like i said um your personal happiness is up to you you know how to make yourself happy and you know the things that you need to do and oh my god hey and um you just have to be yourself and like I said not live up to anybody's expectations and yeah that's the kind of stuff that's helped me before um if you have a toxic friend cut them off if you have a toxic if you're in a toxic relationship cut them off I promise like your personal happiness is more important than a person who's not good for you I've had to learn that the hard way how do you deal with homophobic people honestly i live in a very liberal state um so i haven't really experienced any of that um the only there's been one time i think and i was with mac izzy and um mia and we were at cracker Barrel in indiana <clears throat> and our waitress was a little homophobic because Izzy and Mac are obviously together and we just you just have to ignore it because some people aren't going to agree with who you are and I don't know it's not their business so they shouldn't judge so that's their fault um where do I see myself in the next five years well considering I'm just a junior in high school I'll probably I'll be a senior in college but hopefully I'm going to college in Florida, um, I'm with my friends, I have a job, I have a larger platform than I have now, um, hopefully I'll have like more connections and more opportunities available to me, and yeah. Uh, let's see, I'm going to try to answer as many of these as possible, I promise. How do you control your emotions? Personally, I'm not a, the type of person to show my emotions a lot. But if I do, I do it when I'm alone. 
and it helps because you can just get everything out without anybody judging you um but like with friends I don't know I guess it's just I, you just have to have self control how do you stay happy throughout all the hate because I realize that it's people that don't even know me probably they've never actually gotten to get to know me so why why would they hate if they don't know me you know And, like, the hardest, the, like, I realized that after me and Piper broke up because I received a lot of death threats and, and, like, so many hate comments and DMs and that kind of stuff. But I realized that they don't know me. They don't know who I am. They don't know the whole story. They don't, they don't know anything that happened. They're just listening to what's going on behind the screen. So... They wouldn't know, you know? No hate to Piper, though. That, that was just an example. Yeah, I got death threats. They get such strong friendships. Um, I don't know, to be honest. I guess you just kind of have to find your clique. Like, like, basically all of my closest friends I've met through TikTok, and I think it's because... I think we're all so close because, like, we do the same thing like we we get to know each other and like we all kind of want the same thing you know what I mean it's kind of hard to explain but yeah I don't have siblings okay I'm gonna answer a couple more of these and then I'll look at some of the comments um how did I meet Mia? She lives in my town. Do you have a favorite experience meeting a fan? Okay. I like almost cried, but we were at Playlist. And we were by the pool. If you were at Playlist, you know what I'm talking about. But... Like, we were all in our group. There was probably about 30 of us, maybe. We were all standing in a big circle. It was, like, all of the TikTok lesbians and, like, a speaker. And this girl comes over to me, and she was like, can I get a picture? And I was like, of course. So we take a picture, and then she was like, I just want to know, I just want to let you know that, like, I love you so much. And, like, I came out to my mom yesterday, and she was so supportive, and it's all because of you. And she started crying, and then I started tearing up. And I don't know, that was just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. And, um, yeah, that was precious. Okay, I'll answer some of the questions in the comments. So, if you have questions, comment time. Yeah, I know, that was so sweet. How long did it take to accept yourself? I've known I was gay for a very long time, but I... I finally accepted it myself when I was probably in 8th grade because my middle school people just, I guess just people didn't understand at that age. It was kind of a touchy subject so I tried to be normal. I had a boyfriend in 6th grade but then at the end of 8th grade I was like I don't care. I came out when I was 14? No, I don't know. Those are advice for those who are out that don't have a solid support system. If you don't have a salt like a solid family support system, I would definitely have a friend that you can fall back on, but just know that there's an entire community out there that accepts you. Favorite thing to do with me and Gabby? All of our little ventures we go on, I don't know, we do a lot of stuff. I know that she was a lesbian. I looked at a girl and I was like, whoa. Like, I want to be more than a friend. Thank you for inspiring me to be a trillion. Thank you, I love you. First person I came out to. 
my best friend freshman year. My mom's asleep. Your experience with a van? I don't think I had one. How to meet Mia and Gabby? Um, I met Mia back in July, June, something like that. And um, I had my snap on public because I didn't have a big following. And so she was like, yo, I live in Kentucky, or I live in Mobile. And I was like, oh, okay. And then, like, we started Snapchatting. And then um, Pride was a couple weeks later in September because we have two Prides. And she was like, you want to hang out? And I was like, sure. And then she was like, you come back to Gabby's. And I was like, who's that? And then so I met Gabby at Pride. And then literally the rest is history. I think we spend, like, every weekend after that together for, like, four months. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. What's your favorite part about being an influencer? Being able to spread a message on a wide scale. Meeting, literally meeting, like, so many people. Like, that's, I don't know. Favorite memory from playlists? Meeting everyone, for sure. TikTok you want to be friends with the most? Addison. <laughs> I don't have any siblings. Thoughts on Anna? You know. Advice for someone who wants to become an influencer? Make sure you're mentally prepared because, like, when I got all that hate after me and Purple broke up, it honestly, like, hurt so bad. Um, just be prepared for people to not like you. Be prepared for people to see me hate. Um, I don't know. But just, like, don't give up. You know? I'm not playing basketball in college. Just talking about Piper, touch each other, are you friends? We don't talk, but, like, I don't, I don't think we have beef. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Chicago Pride. Um, well, with coronavirus going around... <laughs> Not really sure about the prides right now, but once like social distancing and we know about all events canceled, I'll let you guys know. Where you shop for most of your clothes? Um, I've been going on, th I've been going thrifting a lot recently. But H and M, PacSun, Zoomies, Tilly's, American Eagle, Forever Twenty One, Fashion Nova, men, um, that kind of stuff. Yeah, VidCon's canceled. They might reschedule, I don't know. I'm not cutting my hair. So let's go to your big one and the Corona had other plans, literally. I'm getting to go to New York. I want to go to New York so bad. <laughs> I've been to Atlanta many times. Tip on coming out. Do it when you're ready. Yes, me and AP are friends. What's the girl thing about you? My ass. <laughs> One part of New York. Well, I was supposed to go on a tour there, but it got canceled. Have about five minutes left, so we'll keep the questions rolling. I was going to come out to home if my parents but don't have any friends around the same page. I understand. I would wait. Personally, I know it sucks that you have to wait, but it's better than being kicked out and not having anywhere to go. I'm making a YouTube channel this summer. I'm waiting to get my MacBook and a camera.
never been out of the country. Pet peeve, sis. I have a list. <laughs> Did I lose any friends coming out? No. All of my friends have known for a while. Where do you think I'm going for college? Hopefully Florida. There's one thing you liked about Florida. Literally, the environment was so amazing. Like, I get home, if I try to say to one of my school friends, hey, you want to make a TikTok? They're just like, what? No. But like, literally, I could go up to anybody and play this. Like, yo, dance. Like, do a dance with me. And they're like, okay, bet. Like, you I don't know them. Like, I don't know. It's just crazy. Are you allowed to TikTok tonight? I don't know yet. I might. I might FaceTime my friends. Favorite music artist? I have a lot. Florida smells weird. <laughs> okay. Favorite thing about Anna? She's genuine. Her smile. There's a lot. You want to go to place again next year? Yes, for sure. How do we use your platform in the future? Um, I guess just to be able to keep spreading a message. Like, I want to be an LGBTQ advocate when I'm older. So, hopefully I can use a plat my platform for that. Hopefully it'll just keep growing. I'm young. I'm still a junior in high school. I just turned 17. I still have a while. Do you get his with me gay? No. My, like I said, my time is very liberal. And like me... Um, some of the people that I know that have gotten hate from being gay, they kind of use it as their only personality trait, but I'm the type of person that, like, oh, yeah, that's AG, that she just so happens to be gay. Like, I don't introduce myself to people. Hey, like, I'm 16, I like girls, like, whatever. Like, some people. Favorite song from Madison Beer. Her new one kind of slaps, you know? Stained glass. Do you like Avery Cyrus? Avery Cyrus is, um, my father. People call me AG. No, I'm 17. I just turned 17. Want to marry Madison? In a heartbeat. Am I popular in school? I'm known, but I'm... I have my circle is extremely small. <laughs> I'm talking about mom and letting me get a nose piercing. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of said, "Hey, mom, for my birthday, can I get my nose pierced?" And she was like, "Yeah, let's go get it." And I was like, "Okay." And do you and Anna build to be named Anna? Well, she's Anna. I'm AG. <laughs> You need to see your friends next, April 30th. You don't go to the same school. Hair routine? I just shower. Yeah, everybody knows about my TikTok at my school. Even my teachers. <laughs> Show the gym. Yes, my mom follows me on TikTok. She follows all my social medias, except for Snapchat. I have four piercings. So you're a girl at school that everyone is willing to see, but yeah, like, I'm not the type of person to walk with a crowd in the hallways to class, like, I literally walk by myself. <laughs> Favorite food? Chicken. Okay, I have one more minute left, but, um, I just want to let you guys know that, like, I love you guys so much. And, like, thank you all for your support, because it honestly means the world to me. Like, y'all are the reason why I have opportunity to experience new things. But, um, I might, I'll probably go live on TikTok later. I'll, I don't know, I don't know, I might, I said might. But, um, yeah, I love you so much, and if you, if you guys need something, you can DM me on my normal account, but I'm gonna get off. Love you guys so much.